I'm Loren Malloy. I am a seven time published author and I have a few tips for those that are about to start writing their very first book. These are important little tips that will save you so much time, frustration and energy. You're going to want to keep listening to this. First of all, before you even start to type your story, make sure you are using a word document. You're going to say, what is the big deal? The big deal is all the coding that goes involved in making a different program, such as Google Docs, and how it transfers and is read by book companies like Amazon KDP. Now, if you don't know what any of that is yet, don't freak out, but listen to me. Best suggestion, you're going to want to start with a Word document, okay? Next, before you even type the title. Hear me out. What size book are you publishing? Oh my God, you don't know? You'll do with it later? Wait, wait, wait. Don't do that. Don't do that, okay? Figure it out. Now, the standard size that most people make a book is a six by nine. You want to look at Amazon KDP because that's the easiest one I've found, but use a program you want and look at their templates for the six by nine book size, okay? Because it matters. Here's why. When you go on Word doc, you're going to want to immediately change the size of the page you are typing on. It will matter later on and save you so much time. All right. So what you'll do is look for the spot that shows the different sizes. It probably will say eight and a half by 11, something like that. You want to click that little down arrow, which we'll probably see and choose six by nine. Now you're not done yet because if you don't do the second step of this, it will suck for you later on. All right. Here's what you do next. You click on the button that says margins. Loren, I don't want to mess with that stuff. You're going to want to mess with it. I promise the margins matter. And the reason it has to do with the template that's going to be used with the program you're publishing the book book through. All right. So, with a six by nine book, which is the one I'm going to use as the example, you want to look at what the publishing site you're using says they want the margins. Now, the outside three margins, which means the top, the right side and the bottom are usually all the same size, whereas the left margin or where the book would crease and be stitched together is usually twice the size of the other edges. Look into it, do your research, make sure, but it will matter because here's why. If you write out your entire story first and then decide to change the page and the margins, everything will be mashed up in a different format than how you originally had it. So just imagine you put the title, you put chapter one, you wrote everything, you wrote the end finally, and you're like, ah, almost done. Well, if you didn't do my steps first, that means you have to change those things after you wrote all of it and made it look pretty. And then when it changes it all for you, after you fix those page size and margins, everything will be moved all around, which means your chapters could start at the bottom of a page instead of the top where you want it, which means you have to go through every line, every page and make sure it's everywhere you want. So save yourself the time and make sure before you even start typing, you change the page size and the margins. All right big deal right there. Now, after you've written the book, chapters one through whatever it winds up being, and you hit save, you're going to want page numbers. Now here's a little secret. You want to have no title on that, just the chapter one through whatever chapters you're done with, with the end at the bottom, right? Nothing else not the table of contents, not the title page, not your dedication, not an epilogue, not your author, none of that stuff. All you want is chapters one through whatever so that you can number those pages, which if you look on your Word document, there's a button that will add numbers. What you're gonna to wanna to do after that is save that Word document as a PDF. I usually call it whatever the book title is and then chapters and make that a separate PDF. After that, after that, you're going to want to open a brand new Word document, not the same one where you just delete stuff, mm -mm. brand new one. You'll have that be the book title 
end beginning or opening where you'll have the title and then your dedication and all those things that need to be at the beginning. You're going to save that as a separate PDF by itself. Then you're going to open up another Word document, brand new, book title, ending. Save it as a PDF and that will have your author picture and bio in it, epilogue, whatever else you were planning to add in the back of the book. But here's also what you need. At the very end, after all of that, at the ending, you need to have a blank page by itself. They'll need it. They'll ask for it. And if you don't do it, you're going to have to add it in later. You don't want to have to deal with it. So after you put your um, author bio and your picture and all that stuff and you feel like you're done, make sure there's a blank page. after. So once you make sure you have that blank page after that, right, you're going to save that whole little thing as a PDF, right? The book title, ending, closing, however you decide. PDF. Now, you're going to take all three of those PDFs, beginning, middle, and end, and use a program that combines all the PDFs into one and save that as the book title because that will be what you upload to Amazon KDP or whatever else you choose to use. Now, those tips will save you so much time in the long run. Let me know if you try them. I hope they help. And I'm here. So good luck to all of you. And remember, cut and paste is your best friend. Spell check works. And it's your adventure. It's your book. It's your creation. Make it what you want and enjoy the process of learning because everything you learn is another step forward.